What is up, everybody? Dante Fido here, and after some time, we're bringing you some new FF14 content. We've got the first of the new Extreme Primals in 4.2, Biako. Um, I'm mainly bringing you this fight because it's so fucking easy. Holy crap, man. This fight has nothing compared to, like, Shinryu EX or... Or what the, uh... Or some of the other stuff, man. This, this fight is super easy. Um, the main thing is that you want to have your group split up into two parties. Uh, a tank, two DPS, and then a tank and two DPS to um, absorb the, uh, the slams that he does on the tanks. Um, that way they don't die. And then you're going to have... He's going to put tornadoes on people, and they need to each go to uh, A, B, and C. It'll be a tank, a healer, and a DPS, respectively. I've noticed it's always the off tank, because I'm always main tanking. Um, just make sure those are spread out. It gets kind of chaotic in the second phase, but as long as they stay spread out, nothing really happens. Um, if they touch at all, they'll expand out, kind of like um, Sephiroth's uh, giant blue, uh, green orb things. If they touch, they explode. That's bad, but you'll see it as it happens. This is honestly a super easy fight. There is no turning back! Grab him there. There we go. So here's Storm Pulse. It's an AoE. That's it. That's all it is. It's AoE. Heal through it. Next he's going to do a Taint Buster. This Heavenly Strike. Uh, that's it. That's a Taint Buster. State of Shot. So here's where he guards. I'm going to put Shirk. That way the off tank can pick him up. So he's going to grab me, and he's going to slam me. You need to have your first group absorb that. So four people are going to absorb that one. Boom. Easy. And then the other four are going to absorb the other one. Because he's about to do it to the off tank now. And I'm going to taunt back, so I can pick him up as soon as it happens. Boom. He does it on that. There we go. And it has to be separate people, because you can see he puts a debuff on everyone that he does it to. So you can't have the same person get hit twice. So you split up into two groups, and it's pretty much easy. So now he's just going to go into this, and he's going to do Storm Pulse. He's going to have these things fly out at you, um, and they kind of cycle out and rotate. A little annoying. Uh, people who are marked with it, um, if you touch, if those who have it get touched by them, they explode, uh, and you get a vulnerability stack up. So, it's not a huge deal. If you touch any of those orbs, you get a orb center. Now he's going to summon up his add. Uh, I'm going to take him on the edge here where he landed, and DPS is going to focus the add. Mainly. Storm Pulse again. The add will do an ultimate move that does damage based on his health, so... Here's Heavenly Strike. with this so I get my energy back. Um... So he's going to hit mark one person to get knocked back, or to do damage. Everybody else needs to stack in here. Uh, the off tank it looks like, okay. And then move out of the shit. Storm post, it's AOE. Add is back. So now he, so now we're going to focus the add. We're going to drop shit on the add, and we're going to blow it up. Uh, if these get to the add, these orbs on the edge here, they get rid of TP. Uh, and they heal the add. Um, as a tank, I don't, I don't use a lot of TP, so I don't really care. Usually you want to have whoever your casters are and your healers grab those, because, I mean, they don't use TP. And that's it. There you go. Roar of Thunder. It hit me for zero. This, this is honestly the most annoying part of the fight. It, you just dodge shit. That's all you do. I feel like this is a huge waste of time. Mechanically-wise and visually, it's fucking awesome. This is really cool. I hope they do more... Honestly, as boring as it is, I hope they do more stuff like this. Because this is a really cool, uh, like, variance to the fight. Like, literally, I can fly and move around, and we gotta dodge all of the shit that's coming at us. It's, it's honestly really, really cool. The first time I saw this in the fight, I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. But then you go into, like, a farm party, and it gets super boring. So, he'll do shit on the outside, and then he'll jump into the middle, and we got a stack. And then he'll follow it up with a line be in the middle where you were just at. You have plenty of time to move. 
So if you aim all the way down, it's pretty easy to see where these orbs are going to be at. So you'll get hit. And yeah, he'll do that. So dodge out of the middle. And he'll start to he'll start to hit it in the middle, and then it'll go back out, and then he'll jump into the middle. So everybody needs to be in the middle for his next thing. And then he's going to do another line, and then that's it. That's that's all there is to this part. Honestly, a huge a huge waste of time. Looks fucking cool as hell though. <laughs> so now he's gonna do his phase transition ult thing that so many bosses do. To ashes with you. Yeah, that did like that damage. All right. Impressive. So now the real fight well, starts more. I shall or less. bring all to bear. Here we go, I'm gonna put him back where he was at. His first move is gonna be Taint Buster, Heavenly Strike, there it is. So, go ahead and absorb that shit. That's like no damage to me. Lightning Alright, so now he's gonna shoot out lightning, that'll stun you, while at the same time also doing the uh, other move too. So now group's gotta stack and avoid lightning. Gets a little chaotic, a little chaotic, honestly. Everybody stack up. He's gonna do the same thing to the off tank, so I'm going to taunt. Pick back up. Oh, oh he does sweep the leg, yeah, and get the hell out of the way. That's a huge cone in front of him. Dodge it. That's a normal mode. It's just not telegraphed. But I mean if you if you clear normal mode, you know what it is, you've seen it. So now he's going to uh, have the orbs that comes out in four different directions now. And he's going to mark people. Yeah, see, it's on the off tank. So off tank's going to go to C, C, B, and A. And those are going to spawn up huge tornadoes. Oh, I got more that shit. Sorry. A whole lot. Oh, shit, dude. Seriously? They ran right into us. See, so now it's just gonna expand, and you can just go to wherever it's not. Shit, seriously. So now he's gonna summon up his ad again, and this is literally just a repeat, except you can actually attack the ad the entire time. Uh, right now. Really use some heals. That, and uh, step back in. Do it again, yeah, do it again. Right on the corner there. Uh, strike. Buster. So you can see we're totally ignoring the ad because we're just gonna pop a tank LB3 here. Um, in order to handle it. I'll absorb this one. Away and he's gonna do a thing. Usually we're out of the way of it. Yeah, he's gonna shoot that right down the middle. We're already pretty much out of the way. So dodge it. And then I'm just gonna let him come back over here and bring him right back where he is at. Holes. We go through it. He's gonna mark people again. While he does that, while he also does this, we get our group stacked in there, and hopefully they don't die. Okay, one person died. That's alright. We're gonna do it on the tank. 
can be tricky with positioning, especially while those tornadoes are going off at the same time, too. Yep, it's a delayed. I love that. Oh, shit, I got hit by it? Oh, well, it didn't. I got hit by it, and it still did, like, nothing to me, practically. That's kind of weird. So, whatever. It's gonna be a strike. Buster. Again. Lagging for some reason. But yeah, just stack on him. He's literally just sitting here doing shit to let us kill him. Here's a Heavenly Strike. There's another Tank Buster. DPS is just getting free hits on him right now, man. All this is is like, here, burn the boss. That's it. Um, that's that's the whole fight. We just gotta burn him now, as far as I know. Yeah, here he goes. He's got a storm pulse. We need to we need to LB 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 LB. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. Oh wow, no, we're actually ahead. Never mind. That's all right. We got it. Pretty sure we got him already. Yeah, he's dead. He didn't even get to do that last set. Wow, we were way ahead on DPS that time. Dang. Ooh, Biakos Katana. I'm actually gonna... Well, the Samurai will probably get it, but... So this is 355 gear. Um, but yeah, that was Biakko Extreme. Super, super easy fight. Holy crap, man. That's... I wish Shinryu X was that easy, man. That, that fight's honestly a joke. Though, to be honest, I've cleared O3S, and I've gotten pretty far. I've gotten up to Neo Ed's death in O4S. So the Extreme Primals, these these honestly aren't really that hard anymore. Now that I've actually really gotten back in, gotten into Savages and everything, these fights are honestly super easy. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, though. I know this is kind of outside of Mobius. I do a lot of FF14 content, or I used to anyway, but not a whole lot of people watch that. I know you guys love my Mobius stuff. Hopefully you like FF14. I love bringing you guys anything Final Fantasy. Um, I, I'm still playing Dissidia. I'm getting really good with Sephiroth. If you guys want to see videos of that, definitely let me know. Um, but until then, uh, we'll be doing pulls on the 8th for, uh, for the FF7 weapons. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!